very, it's very rare. I, I just I was tired of the How do you guys get twelve hours Nobody. of sleep? I'm like five or six hours tops. You Nobody know, here seriously. drinks as much caffeine as you. I, you can't sleep because it, look, oh. there you go again. I don't do this before I go to bed. I quit drinking coffee about seven o'clock at night. So oh my god, oh, wait, are we live? I think we're live. Oh, no, I'm just kidding, guys. Seven we're o'clock at night. Yeah, yeah, seven or eight o'clock. I'll have a cup of coffee when I'm on the Xbox. You know, it helps me stay awake. So good morning, everybody. Welcome to Caliber Corner, episode number one hundred and sixty-two. And today we're going to go shop and we're going to see what's out there for guns. We're not doing the trip with the old lady to Hobby Lobby and then Target and then Starbucks on the way home. You know, the Midwest shopping trip today. We're going to go see what's for sale. We're going to see if there's any good deals out there and the post-election panic buying that's going on. I think we're going to find you some good deals. There's already some places that are starting to post some good Black Friday specials. Now, there's not a ton of Black Friday ads out just yet. I'm imagining in the next what? Yeah, a week or so, we're probably going to start to see a lot of ads drop. But there's some stuff coming up. We can give you guys a heads up on what's coming up and what's out there. So, guys on the panel, if you guys got any ideas about any good deals that are out there, make sure you throw it out there. And uh, I think we'll go ahead and get started. So, let's let the panel introduce themselves, and we'll see who's joining us from the YouTube side. And we will go ahead and fire it up. On my left, fellow Nebraskan, Defense Dad. What's new in your world, bud? How you doing? My well-rested friend. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me. I figured I'd hop on the show this morning before I go to work. You sound like a man that got 12 hours of sleep last night. Is this true? It is true. <laughs> God, I can only imagine. How do those people live? So uh, what do you got coming up on the channel, man? What's what's new? What's going on? Oh, I'm still working on that budget versus beauty series. I got a couple. Oh. I got to get out to the range and film a few things. And um, and I got a lot of slack on some comments on mine. Someone told me that my idea of budget being 400 or less is not a truly budget gun. And I told him to look at look at current pricing. Yeah, you know, I mean, we try to say like 350 to 400 And the reason why is, think about it, if you're doing like a 90-day flex payment, which some of these gun dealerships will let you do, you know, you can do like 125 every couple weeks and have the gun paid off within about a month. I like to think that 400 bucks is doable. For I know people, I know there's people that go paycheck to paycheck. There's people on fixed income, but you put your pennies back. You quit going to McDonald's every week. You quit going to get the expensive lattes. You can have that four hundred dollar gun. I would say four hundred is doable. I mean, because the fact you could do it on like a ninety day layaway, I think that's probably fair. I mean, the problem is, is there's not much below three hundred. There's a couple options, but there's not much there, and there's even less that's available right now. So people have to understand that when they watch these videos, you know. Um, so defense dad, budget versus beauty. Is there going to be a nineteen eleven in your future or not? Um, I'm still debating on that. Okay, okay, because I got the SR 1911 on standby if you want to do a budget versus beauty comparison. Unless I you go mean, buy something above it. I may take a longer lunch break today, and that could be the reality. Of it. <laughs> I like the sound of that, man. All right, well, guys, make sure you head over to Defense Dad's channel. Check it out. He's got some sweet editing. He's got some great content. The videos are a lot of fun to watch. He's got a lot of talent. He's up and coming out there in the, uh, the, the gun tube media, and uh, let's go and give him some support. All right, long time no see. Missouri Patriot. I thought maybe you got mad and rage quit when we told you to mute yourself before we started. I'm like, oh, my God, I bet I just made him mad. How's it going, Missouri Patriot? How are you doing today? Oh, pretty good. I figured I'd get in on this one because it's yeah, a yeah, good topic. Well, but uh, this 8 yeah. o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, man. Absolutely, isn't it? And just think, I would actually, in my normal job, I'm already going full speed at this point. So I'm usually, yeah. I usually get up about 5 I go to bed at nine, wake up at like four thirty. <laughs> well, I, I work on calls twenty four seven mm. three sixty five, mm. so I never know when I'm going to be available. Good God, man! And, and that's why I can sleep for twelve hours straight. Oof, oof, man! I'll tell you what. Uh, so you're staying busy. Have you picked up any good firearms lately? I haven't talked to you in probably about six months. So you guys no, have any good gun deals at all? Or are you just kind of sitting around waiting to see what happens, or what? I I sold a couple. I mm -hmm. sold a Beretta uh, M nine. Oh, okay. And I, I sold a Beretta Nano, and I got some pretty good. Uh, money back on those, but right now I'm looking at a Taurus uh, 356 and 38 for 329. Might pick that up for the wife. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Oh, it's a revolver, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I thought you were saying I was thinking 365. No, you said 353. A uh, model 356. Yeah, three, yeah. okay. Yeah, she yeah. finally decided to get into. Uh, she wanted to learn how to shoot, so I figured I'd get her a little revolver. That's a good way to start, and they do make low recoil, um, you know, thirty-eight special and 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 uh, other calibers that you can get now as good training ammo to kind of get used to it. So you're not, because I've seen a lot of new shooters get just kind of turned off by the recoil of a the gun. They're like, "Well, I want something that doesn't kick so much," you know. Then you got to go back down to the twenty-two and let them work their way back up to the nine. Yeah, um, yeah, and it's a decent little starter pistol to get somebody going. Yeah, that's what I figured. I got a buddy that works at a gun shop. He's he cool. lets me know all the deals. So. All right, man. 
All right. Well, I'm glad you're here. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, no more cereal. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Hey, anytime you want to eat them Cocoa Puffs, you go right ahead, man. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right. All right. And that's not innuendo. All right. Single Shot. <laughs> what is going on, Single Shot? How are you doing today? Good morning. Good. How's everybody you're, doing you're, today? You're home. You're not, you're not on the road. What's, what's your plans for today, man? What's going on? Well, I'm sitting here having breakfast myself and coffee, but um, today I... Uh, I don't know. We might sneak out this afternoon and see if we can jump a jump a deer or two, maybe. But uh, usually, when I was younger, I always get out there in the woods very early. Yeah. But uh, getting to 64 years old, going on 65, things are slowing down a little bit. But uh, now I've been busy around here with pouring uh, down lead, getting blends together, and doing some experiment with that. Getting. Uh, a bunch of brass prepared. Oh, a little bit of reloading, a little bit of test firing. I dropped those last two videos there. That one there that I dropped here this last time is my opinions. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody ought to be listening to that. Cool. Because it's very important. It's your channel, it's single space shot exclamation point, right? That's right. the name of your channel. Because yep. when you try to look for single shot, there's a few other single, there's a lot yeah, of single shot is. channels on YouTube. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I went with the uh, exclamation point. And uh, uh, Missouri Patriot, I uh, will have to find some info for me because I get out that way quite often. I run all over that state. So, uh, I'm in the Kansas City area. Kansas City? Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I might be down there yeah. this spring. Uh, I'm hanging out with Foose and stuff. So, Missouri, I'll give you a holler. Okay. Yeah. I'll be Foose coming down for a couple days, I think, in March or April. So, yeah. I didn't know Foose was down this area. Yeah, he's he's down in I Kansas City, Kansas, if I'm not mistaken, on that side around that area. But I don't know exactly where he's at from like the metro area. But he's yeah yeah. Oh, the, for me, the he's only about. Part. What's that? The stinky part. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea how you you people argue. I, I don't even know how. Is there like is like what Kansas City? There's a Kansas City, Missouri, and a Kansas City, Kansas. Right? Do I have that right? Yeah. Yeah. There's, okay. Uh, okay. So when you cross the river, man. things change. It's like when you go from Nebraska to Iowa, things change. Yeah. There, there's a. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Omaha. Omaha. Yeah, there's a um, uh, water treatment plant right as you cross the bridge. So ah, as soon as you cross the bridge, you're like, oh, what is that? Oh, we're in Kansas. Hey, somebody's got to provide your fresh water. So, you know, I wouldn't <laughs> complain, man. So, yep, yep. I got a little uh, bit of knife sharpening to do this morning. So, I'm there you go. On, on the get, that, in front of me. get that Bowie knife all ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> the one that I had, though, I had that son of a gun for quite a few years. When the trailer burnt down there in Georgia, I lost that. My dad bought that for me, and it really Ooh. did not <clears throat> impress me. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I found was a uh, uh, stained blade. That was it. Leather, the leather and the, yeah. the handle and everything burnt completely off it. I don't know oh, man. Well, it gives you an excuse to go buy something new, I guess. You know, it's unfortunately, it yeah. happens. It happens. Oh yeah. Yep. All My right. Dad is quite into knives, so he he thinks of me that he'll buy one every now and then. <laughs> give it to me. Hey, that's there's nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing. It's a good problem yeah. to have, man. If you ever don't want those, just send them my way. So. Sure. <laughs> cool. Oh, no, I'd share if I if I had something about. Them. Nah, I'm I'm in the market for something a, a little more aggressive. I'm thinking maybe a K bar. I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of looking for something, uh, you know, I, not as an EDC. Obviously, I've got a decent. I got a couple of decent EDCs. I bounce between, but uh, cool. All right. Also joining us at the Bud Crack of Dawn, California time is Calvaris Thirty Two Special. You said you got up just to be on today's show, man. This is great. This is great. How, how are things going, man? How, how's everything going for you? It's going all right. Yeah, I'm not normally up at 5.30 a.m. on a Saturday morning, but uh, when I jump into Caliber Corner, I am. So appreciate it. You got your coffee? Are you ready to go? You got your Pete's? Oh, no, it's uh, Black Rifle. Oh, that works, um, too. That's mug, even better. <laughs> um, one mug in and probably give me about two minutes. I'm going to have to be muting up because I'm going to be going for a refill. Hey, there you go. There you go. All right, and the two mugs in, you'll be ready to, to start kicking some butt for the day. So there you go. Exactly. Cool, man. All right, all right. And also joining us, the one, the only, the squib. Squib load. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, I'm about the same as everybody else. <laughs> you got your coffee check. What's today's? Are you doing some of that Ariosa Dark Roast or what? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. That was a good review. That was a good. Finally, a Dark Roast that Squib can handle. 
Yeah, maybe the only dark roast, but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, when you find a good coffee, you know it's it's uh, it's it's important. So it's important you stick with it, even if it's twenty dollars a pound. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. We're not coffee snobs on this channel. Squib and I are perfectly happy drinking a cup of Buck Fifty Speedway or Folgers, you know. But when you can find a good coffee that you like, it's so worth the price, you know. Yeah. So I guess if I put something like that in one of my reviews, it isn't. I can buy twenty dollar coffee, and you can't. No, some YouTubers no. do reviews like that. Yeah. Okay. I say I put it in there so you can go. Wait, it's twenty dollars. All right, dude. I I don't care how good it is. I'm not buying twenty dollar coffee. Or all right, I'll give twenty dollar coffee a try once, and then you might be like, "Hmm, this is worth twenty well, bucks." I, I might drink this every now and then, but it just depends. Yeah. With some people, when they do their videos they're trying to share with their audience. They're not trying to say I'm superior to my audience. So I guess it really depends on, on how you might perceive it. So yeah, I guess I just put that disclaimer out there. Don't, don't take it that way. Cause that's never the way I present it. I don't care if you, you get the stuff that I have or, or you go the places I go or do the things I do. I'm, I'm sharing that with you. You do what you want with it. And I mean, for me, yeah, I don't normally go buy $20 a pound coffee. I mean, I, I do it for the channel. I do it for the audience. I do it just to try it and see if it's even worth it, you know, because normally I'm not going to spend that kind of money because for me, it's not economically viable. But, um, you know, as I say that with the $900 AKV sitting next to me, but, you know, but I mean, it's just it's just something that that we do. You know, we're not trying to say that we're better than anybody, but yeah. well, no, yeah. I'm just saying that some channels come come off that. I'm not talking about yours, but I, there's some other that that do you know, different kinds of videos where, where they do that sort of thing. And and that's just it. I've this $20 coffee. Ordinarily I wouldn't, but I've gotten so used to Arbuckles. I'm, I'm willing to pay the money <laughs> again. If it's, if you like it, that's all that matters. I mean, even black rifles, $15 a pound. It's not like you're paying that much more. You but know? see, that's just it though. I'll have somebody there, uh, you know, having a cigarette saying, man, I wouldn't pay $20 a pound. <laughs> I, dude, I wouldn't pay $7 a pack. So yeah, exactly. We, we all have our thing. It's, it's exactly fine. And nobody's, you know, nobody, at least on my end, nobody's saying I'm better than you or you're better than me. We all you know, waste, waste our money. On life is too short. You just got to enjoy those simple pleasures when you can, even if it kind Pretty of much. bites in the wallet, you know I mean? That's yeah. 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 So, uh, you know, uh, if along the way we can help to spend some money cause people have helped me spend money. Oh lots yeah. Of you guys out there. Lots. Of oh yeah. You guys. Yep. Yeah, you sent me that little Thompson capper tool, and I went out and bought a black powder pistol. Thanks, Squib. Look, That's the great. whole point. Talk you about just... it. Talk about enabling, you know. Yes. Man, jeez. All right. And also, a quick reminder, today's sponsor is SS Pond, located in ex uh, Lexington, Nebraska. So take that uh, Interstate 80 exit, go into Lexington, Nebraska, check out SS Pond, stop in there, say hello to Stan. Um, SS Pond has been a longtime supporter of the channel, and as always, they will take care of your firearms needs. Give them a holler. Also, uh, going to be featuring this um, Smith and Wesson. I think it's a 629 DX 44 mag. I'm going to take that out and do some shooting with it today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, that'll be showing up on the channel here pretty soon. Uh, all right, so let's see who's joining in on the YouTube side. We got a little Patriot in the dark out there. We got Vandalistic of Vlogs joining us all the way from Australia or New Zealand, one of the two. Tacos and French fries, G23, SS Pond in the house. Hello, Stan. Kingpin's out there. Texas Blades. Bob Addle's out there, too. M. Gabriel in the house. He's been joining us quite a bit lately. Night Shaft is out there, too. Defense Dad over there, over here, pulling double duty. Tacos and French fries. Fiend Dog 27's watching today. Kendrick 98 in the house. Martin Stang Man's out there, as in Mustang. You're already in the club, buddy. Welcome. Snake Doctor 78. Kyle Russ is out there. And South Bar X is joining in. Lead Life is watching today. And is that pretty much everybody? Iron Horseman's out there too. So we got a pretty good audience watching today. We're going to go ahead and just talk about some gun deals, man. We're going to see if there's anything out there. Uh, you know, we talked about this before. If you want to get good prices on firearms, take some cash, go to your local gun shows, see if you can negotiate down a little bit. Um, a lot of the gun shows I've been going to, the, the prices that I've seen so far or they're basically at retail. I mean, you're going to pay the MSRP on stuff, but at least you can find it. It seems like, you know, in the used market over on uh, Gunbroker is where we start to see some of the higher prices. But I am noticing the manufacturers, you know, the prices, the price points definitely higher this year, obviously. And what's sad is I went back and looked at my my gun dot deals Black Friday 2019 video that I did last year. And it is you would cry if you saw those prices that we were paying last November. I mean, it's just. I'm talking cases of 5.56 for $185 delivered. I'm talking, 
you know, $159 G2Cs. I mean, it was crazy how cheap stuff was last year. So anyway, I don't know if we're going to get those prices anytime soon, especially in today's environment, but we're going to see what's out there. So let me just um, throw this out in the panel. And real quick, just, just a little side note to the moderators, you guys that are moderating the chat. Guys, we try to keep the show PG for those people that watch. If you're spewing anything that's racist or you're getting, a, you know, you're getting excessively vulgar, don't be surprised if the mods put you in timeout or ask you to like maybe slow your roll a little bit. We don't want to bump anybody out, but if you're going to get personal or throw racist comments out in the chat, we're going to put you in check just, just to give you a heads up, okay? We try to run a show that you can sit down and watch with your family. You can, you can enjoy the farms content. You can celebrate the community. So that's kind of what we're all about on this program. For those of you that might be new watching, okay, welcome. So let's throw this out on the panel real quick. Um, any good deals out there? Have you guys found anything good lately? What are some of the some of the the best deals out there that you guys can come up with? Anyone? Anyone? Defense Dad, Squibby, you guys see anything good lately? Missouri uh, Patriot, you guys? To be honest with you, I'm seeing better deals in some of our local stores than I am online. Oh, definitely, definitely, yeah, yeah. Well, I like found the 1911 that you asked me about. That's going the one I'm looking at is going for 489, and it's five it six hundred elsewhere. Is it just the base model GI Rock Island, or is it a step up? It's the step up. It's okay. the it's not the tax the series. The one okay. in between. It's, so it's um, got the ambi safety adjustable sights. Yes. Okay. And I've seen that same gun going for some places are six hundred plus for that one. Yeah, if you guys are new to the gun community or you're looking at buying your first farm, you absolutely must shop around. We're talking one, two, three hundred dollars price difference. If you don't look local, check out your mom and pop gun stores. Again, negotiate with cash. Cash is king. Sometimes you can get a better price. Although now, I mean, it's like a Toyota Camry. They know they're going to sell it whether they give you a good price or not. You know, or Honda Accord. Like, there's just some things that it's hard to negotiate on these days. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got your 1911. You know, looking locally. Um, I haven't really looked on Gun Broker. Sometimes I like to go to Gun Broker and I look at Buy It Now and I look at the entry level price of semi automatic handguns and see what they start at and see what's out there. And we were able to find, you know, some police trade ins for like three or 400 that are still out there, some 40 MPs and stuff like that. A few Glocks pop up here and there. Uh, Squibby, any ideas? Anything you see out there that looks good? No, actually not. Uh, I've got a friend that's up north at the biggest sporting goods store in Michigan. This is. When I'm up there visiting family, I'm always spending a lot of money, but they've got uh, great availability, good prices. This is when nobody was getting nine millimeter. People are losing their minds. They're handing me boxes and boxes of it for $15 a box going, you want more? When nobody can get primers, they're like, how many sleeves? How many cases do you want? I mean, they're they're that big that they've got. He, he was there yesterday and he sent me pictures. The shelves were bear i've never seen this place in all these years look like that i mean i i was there what back in september and there were no inventory issues when everybody else is going i can't find this i can't find that i'm just loading my cart up and so is everybody else i mean there was a line to get into the store i was actually doing caliber corner from their parking lot and i watched the oh, line yeah. and yeah. i thought when i get in there there won't be anything it wasn't even an issue i went back later in the day and bought more stuff uh, and, and it's, it's how they, they're so big and they've got two locations that they can buy in bulk. They, they, you know, so, uh, it was really weird to see. And I know, you know, deer season just started, so you're going to have a certain amount of things that are, that are bought extra, but for this place to be cleaned out was, I mean, guns, reload supplies, ammo, you name it, just the pictures were so that for me is, is a, is a bad sign. If, if, if these guys are cleaned out, uh, mm -hmm. but I mean, I haven't really been shopping deals. I've been buying things that I can use uh, you know, online. I've been ordering stuff that I've neglected to get or stuff that I've been short on this or short on that. That isn't being price gouged. It isn't uh, an inventory issue per se. I, I had a few things in my cart that a week later I go to and, and they sold out and I'm going, these are parts. These are, mm -hmm. these are gun parts. Mm -hmm. So I'm not I'm not you know jumping in with everybody else going oh you better it's a, it's just it's it's bizarre because I've I've been able to find stuff relatively easily up to now but that doesn't mean it's still not there I just I'm not looking hard enough yeah I think people are just maybe a little bit scared so maybe they're buying things that they normally wouldn't get they're just buying that extra parts kit so they can have one or they're buying that extra lower because there's one there and there might not be one there next week it might be a little bit of paranoia it might be a little bit of panic nobody really knows where things are going to go so I can I can see you know. 
why the inventory is low. Plus, we have record numbers of people buying firearms, and those people all need yeah. ammo. The so. sales, the salespeople there told him people were buying three and four guns at a time and maxing out their credit cards. Wow. And that's not something that normally happens at that store. I mean, I, they sell guns constantly, but people aren't just going in there. You know, so uh, it's it's been kind of a weird thing. But I really haven't been trying to look for a good deal on a gun. I haven't been trying to look for a good deal on ammo. I've set up the notify yeah. me on a lot of the websites that I use. That's and a good I idea. will get the email yeah. that the stuff's back in stock. And depending on what it is, a couple days Later, I can still buy it. Other stuff, I get it, and you know, while I'm at Gone work, and by the minutes, time I get basically. home, it's sold oh, out. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of that stuff will sell within just a matter of but, minutes. So, but to yeah. give you an example, uh, I just got primers the other day, mm -hmm. so they're not unobtainium. It's just you have to be there at the right time, really. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. It's just a matter of getting that email, basically being on standby, and you're all set to go. So, yeah. Because if you're not, then the stuff is going to sell out pretty quick. And, and the other thing, yeah. too, is if you click the notification, you think, well, I'm the only guy. No, there's no. like 20,000 <laughs> others, you know. I mean, yeah. how many people do you think have or have signed up for uh, PSA Dagger uh, email notifications? Like probably a million, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it makes me wonder, do they actually look at this and go, holy crap, this many people are in line to buy this thing? Crank up production or put a rush on this? or? And I know there's other things, too. Certain places have... Uh, priority. Some mm -hmm. of your bigger stores uh, are going to get that stuff first because oh, yeah. they buy yeah. in volume. The mom and pops have got to be hurting. I mean, they are. I, they, they, are. they can't. They can't get like yeah. their main suppliers, like Davidsons and Lipsies and stuff. They're right. a lot of them are getting bypassed CDNN. They're just going right to the big boy volume distributors. They're not even calling those small shops anymore, offering them opportunities to buy in on good deals. I mean, a lot of times those those companies have agents that will contact the smaller mom and pops, like, hey, we got a dozen M9s. You want to buy them, or we got a dozen M and P's at this price. You want to buy them? Yeah, I'll take them. They're not getting those phone calls anymore. And yeah. that's sad because they're, they're having to go you know, basically pay, you know, maybe get a vendor discount, but they're paying near MSRP and that's not keeping the prices low. Not that people really care anymore because people just seem to be buying whatever, you know, my local, um, my local wouldn't even have room for a pallet of ammo in the back, let alone a pallet of every caliber. Whereas this big store that I was telling you about has probably got a pallet of every caliber in the back in the warehouse. They're that big. Yeah. So when you have that sort of buying power, it also keeps you in the game when other people aren't. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, that's, uh, you know, and, and I know some of these guys have got offsite storage too. They've got a storage unit they go to where they keep oh, their yeah. stuff. And, yeah. So, which which makes a lot of sense. When times are good, you might not be making a profit off of that. But when times are bad, you've got inventory when your competition doesn't. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. See, here's the thing. I don't understand. With Black Friday coming up, are they keeping stuff in storage for the sale? Or are they just selling it as they get it? And then come Black Friday, there's nothing to Yeah, sell. I'll show you that. We'll look at some of the ads here to show you what's coming up. And a lot of it is things that are currently available right now. But they're just knocking the price down, maybe 50 or 100 bucks. A lot of the a lot of the Black Friday stuff I'm seeing, the only real deal they're offering is like it's going to be free shipping that day on any, any purchase. So yeah. that's something that they're offering. That's going to save you 25 or 35 bucks right there. But... Price wise, you guys will have to tell me when we click through some of these ads. I mean, we're not going to sit here and go through pages and pages. I got everything ready to go just to see what's actually out there on sale, what you can actually get right now. Um, and I'll show you guys that are watching some good places you can go to to look for Black Friday deals. And just off the top, full disclosure, I'm not endorsed by any of these websites I'm going to show you. I get nothing from it at all. I just want to want to promote, you know, the idea of people being able to get a good deal on a gun and get themselves armed if they don't have anything or get themselves another gun if they want one. So, you know. Well, and in regard to Black Friday pricing, if you haven't noticed over the last couple of weeks, a lot of places have slowly bumped their prices up so they can offer mm -hmm. their prices. Yeah, I yeah, don't want to rip on PSA, but they're notorious for doing that. They'll bump up a price $100, and then you know it'll it'll be a great – it'll be a daily deal, and they mark it down 50 and it's still 50 more than it was a month or two ago. But that could just be the natural you know increase in prices that we're running into anyway. So, yeah, I um, think we are – we have – I'm looking for a uh, stock for my daughter's 22 from Boyd's and what three weeks ago they were the one I was looking at was $99. Now it's starting at 120. So I'm looking mm. for Black Friday for them to say 99 again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can hear you, man. We have some responsibility to bear for some of this. Now, don't get me wrong. We all want to be in, in a good position for this good position for that. And then, you know, you've got other things like deer season and, and whatnot. And, but, the fact that if they sell a box of 50 rounds of 9mm for $40 and you pay it, 
you just enabled them and they're going to continue to do that until you stop but i don't have any ammo why don't you have any ammo you can't go back in time and change that but you know there's lots of people going man ammo's 40 dollars a box well how many boxes did you buy i just bought two it was my limit Square, we can stop buying all we want to, but there's so many people that are buying guns. They need ammo. I mean, new new people jumping in. You got a couple million people buying guns every month, or another million, another million here, another million there. It doesn't matter. They're they're going to no, keep buying know, it. But, you know. but the thing is, though, I just I don't want to. I'm not I'm not in a position that I want to. There's a. I understand I where the, you're coming from, but I just certain, don't know if it's going to matter at this point. You know. I'm not. Say, I'm not saying if all, I'm not going to be the guy who says let's all lock arms and be the same. Okay. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not saying if everybody tomorrow stopped buying 9mm, that inventory would come back in a week and the prices would go down. Yeah. But until until that stuff starts cooling off, then it's going to stay $40 a box. Now, the new gun owners, they don't know. They've never bought it before. They have no idea that you don't pay, yeah. you know. You used to pay 10 now you're paying 35 Wow, this is expensive. Right. Well, if you would have bought into it when we told you to last year or the yeah. year before that or the year before that, you know. I get a lot of people making comments on videos like, oh, I love shooting, but it's so expensive anymore. It's, <laughs> and, and the other thing, too, is what, what NEA has been talking about for years. You know, every time you get you know uh, paid on your way home, yep. you'll swing by and buy two boxes of just, yeah. you know, uh, and eventually you'll build up a pretty good stockpile. And, yep. and I do buy my ammo all over the place. But when, when Walmart still had nine millimeter, you know, when I had a car full of groceries, eh, give me a box of nine, throw it in there. Ten dollars, nine dollars, you know, and then you just, yeah. After a couple of years, you build up your stocks so that you can enjoy it and actually go out and shoot. Now, me being a gun channel, I do go through the ammunition. I'm and I'm not sponsored by any ammo companies, so I mean, I I do burn through my stocks, but not like heavily. But it's nice to have it. So I think it was a pretty good strategy. But that isn't going to work anymore. You know, people can't do that. You pretty much got to get what you can and try to get the best prices possible. So now, um, yeah. I don't know how it is where you guys are at, but like at my local range uh it's packed it's constantly packed and they're throwing lead downrange all day long where did all mm -hmm. this ammo come from right now you could say well they bought it years ago that's great but unless you're setting on a pallet of ammo it still doesn't you know well, you so might have a lot of new shooters or maybe somebody's getting a new gun or they're getting their they're getting their wife or their spouse another firearm and they're taking it out for the first time we send i tend to see a lot of new shooters or newer shooters out at the range like look at my family we got seven women seven family members that all took their concealed carry class they all bought guns. They all bought ammo, or we gave them ammo to get them set up. And so there, there's another seven that are going to be at the range, you know. So I don't know. Uh, Calveras, from the California perspective, any good gun deals at all, or is it just everything's gone? What are you seeing in your little neck of the woods when you go into your your local gun show, your local gun store? The last time I was in my local gun shop was probably two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and um. The, you know, from just a quick walk down the ammo aisle, that's where their well, the guns seem like they're, they're price, you know, California prices are high to begin with. But the ammo aisle, you'd walk down. Um, they were sold out, but nine millimeter was thirteen dollars a box or something. Oh, you know, okay. uh, so, uh, it's not it so bad. Out. Yeah, pretty yeah. much the kind of stuff that was on the shelf would have been your. Uh, 500 Smith and West, and your 454 Casul, your uh, a lot of the not the popular calibers, all the common stuff was sold out. The that was at a sportsman's warehouse. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, the prices weren't totally jacked, but they also didn't have, you know, uh, a whole lot on the shelf. And when it came to the firearms, most of what they had on the shelves were the. Fifteen hundred dollar and up, the Ruger Precision rifles, the Daniel Defense ARs, the uh, Performance Center, uh, you know, Colt revolvers. You know, they didn't have any of the uh, like a better way of putting it, more budget minded stuff. All that mm -hmm. stuff. It was the same situation when I went into Cabela's in Omaha. It was like it's that upper that five hundred dollars and above, six hundred dollars and above. I mean, they had the Glocks at full retail price at six hundred dollars. They had your Sigs for a thousand. They had some H and K stuff for a grand, you know. Well, yeah, anything yeah, that was below five hundred bucks, yeah. I think the cheapest handgun I saw was about nine hundred. Oh wow! Oof. Well, if a person needs one, I guess right. Uh all right, uh, Missouri Patriot. What about you? Your neck of the woods? Any good gun deals you're seeing at all? I'm not. Um, 
Now, I found some some points to the bar about 10 cents per round. Okay. It's weird. I look for Bamo about 7 cents per round. But just like a box of 50 is only about 60 cents per round. I figured it would be longer, but it's not. Hey, Missouri, you're, you're robot and pretty hard. We couldn't catch you there. Do you have a? Can you get on Wi Fi maybe? Or it's kind of kind of warbly when we were talking. I couldn't. I heard you talking about the ammo prices, but I couldn't could make it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, single shot. What about you guys on the East Coast? We're just covering the whole country right now. Let's just see. Is there any good gun deals left in America? We're going <laughs> from the West Coast to the East Coast. What do you got up there in Maine? Anything good at all? You got to hunt them. You got to hunt them. I can tell you because it's just like everybody else. You know, they're having major issues with uh, trying to find this, that, or the other. And uh, when well, a lot of states have canceled gun shows because of gathering limits yeah. and stuff like that, I mean, that's just not what they need to do for the gun shows is like have them out in a parking lot outdoors so you can spread it out so people can have the social distancing requirements that their mayors are dropping on them. I mean, have like little blue X's on tape on the ground so you can go from table to table. I mean, that'd be great if it was warm enough, host, host one outside, you know, okay, having well, out in a parking things. lot. So what's that? For, you know, two things on that. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, where it's, of course, do that where it's legal to have them outside. And two, I've seen way too many wildly you know, coyote cartoons to stand mm -hmm. on X. Doing what? I've seen way too many, you know, uh, wildly coyote cartoons to willingly stand on an X. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, there you got to watch out for that anvil, the, the the Biden anvil coming down on you, huh? Yeah. All right. So you know what, guys? We're just going to go right into it. Let's go shop and let's see what's out there. I'm going to go and do a screen share. You guys let me know if you can see this okay. Hopefully it'll, it'll show up all right here. So starting up, can you guys see this? Are we good? Can you guys see that okay? I can see Coming it. through clear for me. All right, so we're going to check out the Cabela's um, Bass Pro Shops ad. These are the just the few deals I can actually find that are available. You know, we're looking at a little bit of optics. We're not really going to look so much at ammo because there's really not much being advertised, to be honest with you. So Cabela's and Bass Pro, they're doing November 23rd through the 29th, uh, Monday through Wednesday at 6 a.m., open Thanksgiving Day at 8 a.m., Black Friday at 5 a.m. We've got a six-hour Romeo 5 for 100 bucks. We've got... Savage Axis XP Bolt Action Rifle Package with a Weaver 3 to 9 by 40 scope for 239 after all the rebates are said and done. Um, it says multiple calibers available. Usually in these, you can find them in 243, 270, 308, 30-06. I, you know, what's sad about that is that was like a $199 deal last year, but you know, you do what you can do. So that's that's okay. Um, Calaveras, we got your Jeep over here. There's your little Power Wheels Jeep Calaveras. You can get that if you. <laughs> hey, that's better price than I got on mine. You know, I know. Uh, I know. There are some advantages to this year. Exactly, and it's it's full electric, so you might get some tax discounts living in California. You know, you can just plug it in at work. So, <laughs> uh, but anyway, so two thirty nine. I mean, I'm not sure, guys. And by the way, uh, YouTubers, I'm not watching the chat right now. So if you guys have questions or anything, panel, you guys are gonna have to. Kind of pick that up for me because I'm only running a single screen here. So that's just your page one of the ad. Now we click into it a little bit. Cabell's has got a lot of you now. You got some timber deals going on. Uh, the Micro Nine for six ninety nine. Hey guys, go ahead and uh, mute up on the panel unless you're talking. I'm getting a lot of background noise right now. Uh, we've got the uh, Browning. We got a Buckmark over here. Buckmark Field Micro for two seventy nine after rebate. And I mean, you know, I know we're going to be saying like, God, these are not good prices. Well. For right now, it pretty much it is what it is. We've got a Kimber Rapid Black Eye Semi-Auto for twelve ninety nine. There you go, Defense Dad. That's what you need right there. Uh, it's got it's all hopped up and stuff. And again, I you know I have not much experience with Kimber at all. I've only tested I think one of their one of their micros on my channel, and that was basically it. But that's all that Cabela's has for guns that they're showing off right now. Now I recommend I'm just going to close out these tabs. By the way, as we burn through them. Uh, gun dot deals does have a, cl uh, a category you can click on called black Friday. I suggest you click this every morning and this is where they're going to show you the deals that drop and what's going on. There's a little bit of everything. This would have been a great one. If you guys could have got on this, I had this in nine millimeter. It's the FNS 40 C with a 14 round and a 10 round mag. You get two 10 round mags, one 14 round mag night sights. Now it's back orderable from Euro optic. And I have no idea if Euro optic optic, fulfills their orders or if they just leave you after they charge you and then you know give your money back a month later but 339 is a heck of a deal i paid 
I think 450 for my FNS 9C when it came out like three or four years ago. Different backstrap sizes. This is a great gun. Barrel's a little bit thin, but it is cold hammer forged. I know a few people say, oh, that barrel's going to, you're going to wear that barrel out. Yeah, right. Uh, moving on. Again, we got another Kimber Custom for 589 And they got links you can click on. If you're looking for ARs, you can click on that. If you're law enforcement, they got the blue label line you can go into. Uh, let's see, Auto Ordnance M1 for 740 But, I mean, looking at the prices, it's like, man, these are expensive. Uh, Hornady XTP Bullets for 1999 Oh, yeah, Anderson Manufacturing Air 15 Strip Lower, $47.99. These are a lot of the prices that we're currently seeing right now anyway. So the, some of these listings are taken from just the regular gun.deals website here's a psa gen 3 pa 10 ready to go more or less uh 308 uh pa 10 so that's going to be kind of like your lr 308 uh ar 10 i guess you could say uh here you go guys kalashnikov usa kr9s rifle range ready kit i'm assuming this is a faux suppressor for only 1425 yeah it's not so bad <laughs> uh it's going to come with everything you need including ammo apparently comes with 200 rounds of tula so there you go uh, Bull Carrier Group for ninety nine ninety five, which I hate to say it, that's actually one of the better deals that's out there in terms of uh, BCGs. A lot of places are going one fifty for Bull Carrier Group, whereas before I remember I used to get them for sixty nine dollars or fifty nine dollars. We got an Anderson AM fifteen five five six for six twenty nine. That's not bad if you want a new AR. That's probably one of the lower prices I'm seeing out there. That's for complete, obviously minus your optics rifle. Oh, uh, what else we got out here? We got a G26 Gen 4 9 millimeter police trade in for 449. That's about 100 bucks below retail, maybe 150 below retail. Vortex Venom for 199. Hey guys on the panel, go ahead and just chime in and let me know if you want to see any of these. I can click on them. A lot of Kimbers. I mean, Kimbers have really dropped their prices dramatically in the last couple of years. I mean, I'm seeing them for like 550 locally if you want one. Here you go, guys. Here's a great deal. Not a thousand rounds of Tula nine millimeter for four ninety nine. Wow, three thumbs down on that one. It kind of tells you how people feel about it. Uh, what else we got going on here? Here's a complete ATI upper receiver. Now it says less BCG, but they show the the charging handle up there. But two forty nine. That's not bad. Sixteen point one three inch barrel and five five six. If you're looking for an upper. Uh, let's see, polymer 80 build for 135, including jig. Okay, it's just going to be your lower. Hey, Squib, is this a good price for bullets? You tell me. 180 grain, 40 cal, 1,000 for 108 dollars. Is that considered high, Squib? No, no. As a matter of fact, I'm I'm shopping reload supplies right now. Oh. No, it's the th <laughs> thousand. No, not really. You start dividing up the the, the cost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, on uh, say like a hundred pack of that you might pay uh in the upper teens okay to, to give you to give you an idea so let's go back up to this one you can tell me about this one what about these hornady xdps now these are not xdps obviously in this picture those are fmgs but um online only do not call one coupon per order so this product is packaged from a bulk 3000 count box to a 250 count box so 250 I don't even know what I'm looking at here. This says nine millimeter, 115, 115 grain. grain, full metal jacket, 250 count box for how much? 20. Now this is XTP. For 20? This is odd. Yeah, send this me some. <laughs> but it says XTPs and those XTPs are not full metal jackets, right? Uh, I think XTP is, is like a... Just the line maybe? I thought it was yeah, the polymer or I, hollow point. Yeah. I also, yeah, the picture may not... Oh, okay. Now yeah, this is by Cabela's XTP. and they're... Yeah, the this is, is an extreme yeah. hollow point. It's yeah, yeah. So this must be a, just a generic. Here, let's just go buy Cabela's and we'll see what comes up here. Let's just see what they actually show us here. So you guys that are reloading, Hornady XCP pistol bullets. Let's just pick a caliber just for just to see what. Two hundred and fifty for twenty dollars is is good. It uh, and it, that's kind of normal. But the thing is, though, you'll see boxes of a hundred of these going for in the upper teens. So when you can get two hundred fifty for the price of a hundred. Yeah. So it. here's here's a $24.99 for a 100 pack of 147 grain XTP hollow points. Right. You're paying more for the, the yeah. hollow point, really. But that's that's all that's popping up on here. So I don't know where the $20 thing is that they're talking about because I'm not finding it for nine. Well, I guess you can. Yeah, you've only got that one grain weight, too. I thought it showed a 90 grain 
150 that, or a, that would yeah. be uh either what your nine makarov or a frangible right? ah okay okay so i wasn't sure about this one if this was a good deal but this is a fun one to check daily because there's always stuff that's popping up here this i find this hard to believe but apparently they had an fn 15 556 carbine which is, must be their entry level line that they're making now uh it's not a copy of the m4 or whatever um this one is hey, 769 yo what's up uh, your screen share on YouTube just stopped. We're looking back at you again. Okay. Well, I'll go down to stop sharing here. I, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Let me go back over here. Okay. Let's try firing it up again. All right. So Pat Hurst is joining in too. He's here just to listen, but Pat, I appreciate you being here, buddy. Let's do another screen share. All right. Are we good? You guys tell me, are we okay? Give it a second for YouTube to catch up. All right. No here. problem. No problem. Got another Kimber for five eighty nine. Otherwise, we might just have to talk our way through this, and I can tell you guys what's for sale. So it's about the only way I can do screen share. Is it back or not? No, you're just going to talk us through it. Okay, all right. So um, we'll just go ahead and, and leave it as is. Um, we've got some extreme duty bullets, copper plated pistol bullets from fifty nine ninety nine, and that's going to be for five hundred. Um, I'm assuming that's probably nine millimeter. They're not telling us, but uh, yeah, so you can get the copper if you want them. So now we're, but I'm telling you right now, on this one for the gun dot deals, I'm basically running into the stuff that's just on their daily listings. I'm not seeing any real extreme deals. Okay. Those of you that have a rural king nearby, let me just tell you what they're going to have. They've got a Springfield XDS Mod 2 for $479. That's going to be on their Black Friday special. Uh, they've got a Rough Rider. Uh, just the standard Rough Rider 22 LR. You're not going to get the mag. You're not going to get the um, additional cylinder with it for 129. That kind of seems like the price we were paying before. Uh, let's see here. We've also got the Rossi Tuffy Shotgun 410 single shot for 149. They are going to have a Kimber Micro Carry Pistol 380 ACP 6 plus 1 for 429. Now I tested one of those in 9 millimeter. I did have issues with it, and I had some people chime in on the on the comment side for YouTube, and they said that uh, you you really got to it's really ammo finicky. You got to follow what the manual recommends for grain weights if you want the gun to run reliably. Which you know it doesn't say that anywhere on the slide. You need a certain kind of grain weight for the gun to run reliably. It just says nine millimeter Luger. But uh, anyway, it, it there. I mean, it's well built. I just had trouble getting it to cycle, but I was only shooting one hundred and fifteen grain ammo through it. Um, Rural King is also going to have. The Nico Sterling 1x30 Red Dot Reflex Sight for $49.99. And it's going to have a little sun tube you can screw on the end of it to block glare. They're going to have $5 Blackhawk holsters and some shotgun ammunition on sale, too. They're going to sell some Super X for $6.49 for a box of $25. And AA Light Target Ammo for $8.69. So that's going to be on sale, too. So that's what's going on. They also offer um, $12.99 flat rate shipping. I didn't realize that you could buy from... So you've got to arcadeguns.com. You can order from Rural King Direct, and they can ship to your FFL, which is a good thing. Okay, we'll move over to Sportsman's Warehouse, which you can buy online. They're going to have the Ruger. Uh, what's up? Oh, did I miss something there, guys? Echo. We're good? Okay, okay. We got the uh, Ruger AR556 for 749 And if you buy the Ruger AR556 from Sportsman's Warehouse on Black Friday, which happens... Friday morning at 6 a.m., online Wednesday at 11 p.m., so the Mountain Standard Time, which is going to be midnight Central Time. If you buy the AR-556 for 749 they're throwing in a free Ruger 1022. It's just the standard uh, synthetic model with no sights on it. I but, might get in on that. Yeah, that's that. I mean, that's going to knock the price of that AR down to basically 529 And it's the nice, the AR-556, it has the Magpul furniture on it. It's got the uh, M-Lock handguard is what I'm seeing. Um, let's see here. You know, let's do something. Hey, you guys that have the links in your email, if you could post that over on the YouTube side, why don't we do that if people want to check this one out? Actually, here, I can just do it real quick for you guys. The, you, those of you that are watching at home, if you want to see this, see what exactly what I'm looking at. We're having trouble with the screen share. So, oh, it says you can see it. Cool. I guess it, it apparently is showing up on the YouTube side now. There's a link for you guys to check yeah, out. I know my computer may have been acting up on me. No, that's okay, and I never know. Sometimes we've had trouble with screen share on here. Um, they are going to have the Springfield Victor for eight ninety nine. They are going to throw in a free Vortex Spark 2 if you buy it. That's worth $200. 
Winchester XSP Defender Pump for $199. That's regularly $300. And that's after a $50 mail-in rebate. Now, this right here, this is the one that's going to bring the uh, the boys to the yard, right? Yeah. Winchester I, I, White Box 9 millimeter for $9.99. You're going to have some bitches camping out three days in advance to get that stuff out. I'm calling BS Washington. on that. They're, uh, they are, you know what? I wish I was out in central Nebraska. I'd make the trek out there because they're out in Cheyenne, Wyoming, if I'm not mistaken. They have a sportsman's warehouse store. Nine ninety nine. Of course, I don't know if you can buy that online. They don't tell you, but that could be just the. They might have a case they're going to put out. You know, and with that, like that's maybe just a, it. Did they send a case to each store and they go, yeah. "Okay, leave this in the back. Don't touch it." Yeah, right. If anybody and- could get to a sportsman's <laughs> warehouse and make a video on that, not that I want to rip them apart because I've ordered from them before and they've come through. I've I've not been gouged by them, especially their Vortex rifle scopes. When they clearance them out, man, you can get some mega deals. They're showing a Vortex Viper. 6.5 to 20 power by 44 millimeter objective lens for 249 with an MSRP of 499. That might be one worth getting online, guys. That might be something worth picking up. I, you're gonna have to check prices locally, but I think that's gonna be a really good one. They're gonna have a Browning Buck Mark for 199, the bull barrel pistol with the adjustable sights for 199. That's not bad. Matte black finish. Now, after $75 manufacturer's mill and rebate. If you're a 17 HMR fan, I'm going to be honest with you. I would never encourage you to go buy ammo at Walmart, but that's about the only ammo that Walmart has in stock right now because they carry some 17 HMR rifles. They're going to do Hornady, uh, 20 grain, hollow point, uh, 50 round boxes for $9.99. I don't price 17 HMR, so I have no idea if that's a good deal or not, but uh, that one's going to be coming up too. So this is all going to happen the day before Thanksgiving at midnight central time, 11 o'clock mountain time. Uh, you guys can get online and get on those deals. And if you buy these, they'll they'll ship to your FFL and pay the transfer fee. But again, if you live near the Cheyenne, Wyoming area, they've got a store there where you can buy it. And I believe you can pick it up in store. But man, that right there, if, you're, if you want an AR, you want to get the free 1022. I mean, not that I'd see you turn around and do it, but you could turn around and sell the 1022 for basically, you know, what what, what it's what its MSRP is going to be right now. So that, but I would keep it. That's definitely a really good deal. Uh, I got another page of, of ads from Sportsman's Warehouse. We go on to the next page. We got the Stoger M3000 for $399. MSRP on that's $549. Maverick 88 for $179, which I think that's what I paid for mine like three years ago. But they have them. Crickets are going to be on sale. They're going to be marked down $10 to $20 if you want a, a cricket bolt-action rifle. Uh, what else do we have here? They got a, they got a full-on tactical build. There you go, Defense Dad. That's what you need right there. The uh, the complete tactical build cricket. I think two seventy nine is what that would top out at. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be right hand only though. I think because it's got the the butthole stock. So um, here's another good one. I mean, I don't I can't speak to their quality. I I don't know if you know Diamondback for what it's worth. They're gonna have a Diamondback AR for four twenty nine, which is probably one of the lowest priced complete ARs you're gonna find anywhere short of buying one used. And then they gotta have, they're gonna have an M and P Sport two kit which is going to come with a magazine flip-up rear sight and an M&P Duty Series case for $649. That's definitely one we're standing in line for. So I'm seeing those M&P Sport 2s for, what, $700, $800 locally, I think. Defense Dad, do you know? What are those M&P Sport 2s going for? I'm thinking of, like, uh, Shield. Yeah, they... $750, I think. Okay, okay. And then this is another great, great price, the Ruger PC Carbine. I'm selling these going for, like, I've seen these locally for, like, $699. They're going to have the carbine nine millimeter for five forty nine, with a I'm assuming seventeen round magazine because it says seventeen plus one capacity. So it's going to come with that mag, which is compatible with what the Ruger, whatever model of pistols that they've got. Not the Patriot pistol or whatever they call it. They're the security pistols. Um, they're also showing. Here's another one. This is another one that's going to bring everybody in. We've got Federal Pistol Ammunition Black Packs, which is just kind of their bulk ammo. After $12.50 manufacturer's mail-in rebate, they're going to do 9 millimeter, 250-count boxes for $34.99. And that comes out to less than $9 a box, if my math is correct on that. $16, $24, $32, dollars It's about $7.50 a box for a box of 50. If you buy a 250-count box for $34.99 after rebate. Hell, even if you paid regular price on it initially, you're still getting a better price than you are in most places. They're also going to do 223 Remington for... 150 count for 42.49. I don't. That's not really. I don't know. That's you guys have to tell me if that's a good price. I really can't tell off the top of my head. And these are all after rebate, by the way. 
And they're also going to do a 22 mag, 250 round box for $34.99 and 22 LR. It looks like a 38 grain copper plated hollow point, 1100 count for $34.99. That's not bad. So if you can get yourself over to a sportsman's uh, warehouse, definitely check that one out. Okay, I got one more page of deals from them. Hopefully still screen sharing for you guys back home. Again, Kimbers are everywhere this year. Good God. I don't know if it's because that's the only 1911 that's not selling or what the deal is, but they got a custom for $599, Springfield Defender for $499, uh, XDM 10 millimeter for $499, uh, XDS Mod 2 for $369 and $9 or $45. Here's a great deal. Uh, G2S, okay, Defense Dad locally, Shields price, $179, aren't they? They're two twenty nine on that, aren't they? Here, uh, two twenty two thirty nine. That deal of that P nine thirty eight Sig, though, that's a great deal. Okay, so this one over here, four ninety nine. Is that six hundred? What you typically see? That's the nightmare, right? The nightmare trim or whatever you call it. Uh, it looks like it, and that nightmare is usually going over seven hundred right now. Okay, so four ninety nine for P nine thirty eight, and then the P two thirty eight for four ninety nine. Also, uh, what's the difference between these two defense dad? What's one? Is this P2 the nine? Is this the three eighty and the P nine thirty eight is nine millimeter. Nine millimeter. Okay, okay. So that's that's a pretty good price. Reloaders, they got the Hornady Lock and Load Classic Reloading Bundle for three forty nine. Five hundred free bullets with purchase via mail in rebate. Got some gun cleaning kits on sale. They got some cases on sale. How about the Walker Razor Series Slim Low Profile Ear Pro for thirty nine ninety nine? What do you think about that? I don't know if that's a good price. Didn't you guys, Defense Dad, didn't you guys order some walkers, you and uh, Sandhill Yeah, Shooter? I've got three sets of those. That's a pretty good price for those. Okay. And again, and again, I don't know if they're going to see. They're not saying anything about free shipping or anything on the ads yet, but they might do free shipping on, say, orders of $5,200 or more. Now, another good place to go if you want to look for good deals is over to Pew Pew Tactical. I will put this one over on the, uh, the YouTube side for you guys to follow along if you want to. Again, we're all about saving some money today here. All right. Here you go. Again, hopefully this is an expensive day for all of you gun owners out there. <laughs> PSA, PS, uh, the PA15, 16-inch uh, carbine, $700. Uh, that's probably just going to be the uh, the nitride one or the, uh, yeah, no, it would be the nitride. It's probably just the phosphate finish. PSA, Geisley, Trigger, 190 normally 240 if you're looking for one of those. Oh, they got a Wheeler Engineering Fat Wrench Torque Driver and Reticle Leveling System. That you can get that wrench for forty nine ninety nine on Amazon all day. So I don't know if it's worth it. You know, if you suppose if you want to get yourself a leveling system for your scopes, that'd be the way to go. And then, uh, Travis, just that yeah, real man. quick, yeah, uh, on the Sportsman's, I didn't see it, but some people in the chat are saying near the bottom it says it's those are the twenty nineteen ads and are just for reference. Really? Because this is what popped up on 2020. So, all right. Well, if it is yeah, 2019, I apologize. I but, okay. When they first said it, I looked. I couldn't find anywhere where it said it. Okay. But, you know, multiple people are, cl- are saying that. So, all right. So, looked at the seats and we didn't. All right. All right. So, yeah, when I checked 2020, it's what popped up on the, the Black Friday ads 2020. Because like, I checked to see, because many times they put the 2019 at the bottom. So, if that was, in fact, the 2019, I do apologize. But, that's going to give you an idea about the selection we're probably going to see this year, too. Maybe not those prices, but it would make a good comparison for you watching. Hey, when the new stuff comes out, is it really worth it? Is it really a good deal, or should you look around a little bit more? Um, again, Pew Pew Tactical is going to be updating theirs. Uh, the Gun Dot Deals Black Friday page is legit. That's their 2020 page, what we just went through. So, again, if the Sportsman's Warehouse is not it, I apologize because it popped up as the 2020. And uh, I assume that the dates and everything lined up, but all right. Uh, PSA is selling the Rossi RS22 for 120. It's not a bad deal on a nice little semi auto 22. Brownells has got some US Palm AK47 mags for 16. Yeah, what was really sad is PSA was selling P mags for $7.99 a piece last year. Oh, God, I miss those days. Ruger Wrangler for $199. I mean, generally, you can find those available at that price all day locally at your local gun store. This is pretty cool in OD Green, by the way. It's a neat looking little revolver. They make an OD Green now, which is pretty sweet. Got a Springfield Armory XDS Mod 2 with a CT Red Dot for $550. Vortex Strike Eagle. All right. Not really seeing much else here that's really kind of tickling the fancy, but okay. All right. Uh, moving over here to CDNN. Let's see what these guys have. I just decided just to do a little search on their firearms. Now, if you're thinking about doing an LR308 build, this is a really good price, $229 for the DPMS LR308. And I know 
DPMS is no longer in production, but you can get yourself essentially the complete lower for 229. Granted, you might be paying an FFL fee on that. I paid, I believe, a little over 300 for my Aero M5 lower. Might have been even maybe a smidge more than that um, with the parts and everything when it was out the door. So 229, even if you had to pay for shipping and you had to pay for an FFL, you can still save a little bit of money on that. They also have kind of a rocket you can get that doesn't have the trigger pack in it for 149, but you get the buffer in the spring and the stock. Moving down, I was just kind of seeing what they have on sale. They've got some Thompson centers on sale for 289. Uh, you know, not not a whole lot of, of stuff going on over at CDNN right now. I do like this Dyer Scout. This is pretty cool uh, for 299, but it's been that price for a long time. So here's that buck mark for 299, but I think we saw a better price on that over at uh, over at Rural King. Get yourself a Ruger 102245 Mark III stainless for 299. Oh, it's out of stock. It's out of stock. And it goes on. Yeah, 329 for a Ruger 1022. So these are the basic prices that we've seen before. The Ruger Americans at 349. That's a pretty good deal. 30 out six or 270. Normally you pay around $400 for those. Uh, 30 out six with Wolf Camo for 349. Defense said, how does this, the LCP2 light, you kind of check the prices on these once in a while. 369, was that a good price at one point or not? Uh, and that's pretty much par for the light, course. The, the non light version of it, which it's a 22, uh, yeah, is going yeah. for 320 locally at Shields. Okay, so they're they're a little bit high. Um, we're going to kind of get away from these guys. I mean, this is fine, but they've got a lot in stock, which is a good thing. This is very expensive. You know, these were 269 at one point, 349, 369. I don't think these peak for us locally. I think you can get these for 399. Your Smith and Wesson SD9 VE at 439, it's not a good price. Just go buy yourself a. Elio trade in M&P if you can find one. It's going to be a much better deal in the end, in my opinion. And I and I own oh, I own one for quite a while, an SD9VE. Here's a Walther Creed shooting kit for $449. Uh, Defense Dad, you're kind of the local Walther resident or you know, the expert on this. How does that? Three bags, carry box, uh, some supplies, cleaning the Creed, supplies. The Creed was going for around 300 just for the gun. With two mags. This is going to um, come with three speed loader. I have no idea. Oh, they're going to give you some barrel badger cleaning stuff. Cleaning stuff, I chalk it up to like maybe $25, yeah. you know. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's for a discontinued gun, though. I mean, so. Yeah. And the, oh, it looks like we have some magazine pouches that come with it. I mean, it's a good deal if you want something to get started with. This is, you know. Yeah. You I just mean, want to be all. Uh, and the mags, the mags are probably, what, 50 bucks a piece for them? I'm sure they're not cheap. You yeah, know, it's, 40, it's, that's a nice gun. It didn't get as much love as the as its PPQ brother, but I mean, it's that's a when you could buy that for two ninety nine for the gun with two magazines. Mm -hmm. um, it was a hell of a deal. I would say hands down right now, if you can get one, you know. And again, I I know you got your opinion about defense tab, but still the the APX for three ninety nine, still one of the best deals in a high quality semi automatic nine millimeter. If you get yourself a bread APX for that price, I'd say snag one. Um, oh, I like mine. You do. Oh, I thought maybe you just you didn't you wouldn't like the ergonomics on it or something. I couldn't remember what you were saying when we talked about it. Uh it's just a lefty thing. The breakdown pin hits my thumb. I just figured out how to hold it better. Okay. Okay. Uh yeah, I mean that's yeah, the bread APX is a great one if you can find it. It's under the coming different sizes, centurion or full size, and so on. Uh over at J and G sales, I just sometimes scan to see what they got on sale. They've got the Bredas around 349 now at this point for the, the 1951 models. But they do have, this is their in stock. And another good one to consider, the Canic TP9SA series, $399. I bought my Elite SC for $399, the all-black model. I've been very impressed with it so far. This is, a again, a good sub-$400 handgun. It's going to come with two mags. I think it's, what, 17-round mags, if I'm not mistaken, for $399. And then, you know, always we got the Milserp options, too. But, yeah, it's just kind of fun to kind of browse j sales and see what they have on sale. Uh, it's kind of high for a Rammy. I think we can get those for five sixty nine over at Shields. Um, or again, you know, if you look around, you can get these for five sixty nine all day online. And they start to run into the CZ Milser pistols. So there's some good deals out right now, but a lot of it is going to be kind of just paying normal price. We're not seeing a whole lot at this point. Again, I do apologize for the error on the Sportsman's ad. And like I said, it came up on the uh, the Black Friday 2020 link, and I, I do try to watch the dates and everything. So. 
Yeah, I, I get to check that. I'm on their site, and that nightmare is going for seven twenty four ninety nine. Mm. Pulled out. I was at four ninety nine. No lie, I was going to well let's the nineteen eleven and order that right now. Let's wait and see what they offer because maybe they'll have it. You know, at five ninety nine, it's hard. But this will be a good comparison to see what comes out this year in the ad and see if they're actually offering some good deals. Okay, I'm done screen sharing. I see that Sandhill Shooters joining us. Sandhills, what's new in your world, man? How's it going? Ooh, there he is. Be very, very deer. quiet. We are hunting deer. <laughs> hey, no snow this year, huh? <laughs> There's a little bit left over from earlier in the week, but ah. no, no snow. All right, man. No I don't know what yet. I'm going to do. How am I going to get stuck if there's no snow? Exactly. Exactly. Man, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, any luck yet? You guys doing some good scouting? Have you found anything? Well, we watched, uh, what we count, nine this morning sitting in the blind, but none of them were at an angle that we could shoot that direction. And then uh, we left after my dad turned cattle into the the cornfield where we were watching. Okay. So, <laughs> cool. So, cool. uh, um, uh, then we, uh, we, we drove down the road and turned around and came back. And, and, uh, just as we were coming back, we watched a really nice buck chasing a doe at a dead run, um, through the cornfield that we, the, you know, it's, it's been combined now. It's just corn stalks. Yeah. But, um, uh, that we were just watching. He was just from one end to the other. She was on a dead run and she jumped the road right in front of us. And <laughs> somebody and wasn't jumped interested. The road right in front of us. And oh my God. <laughs> then we went down around the corner and, and down the road and, and saw him again. And, and I, she could still be running right now for all I know. She, she maybe went clear to the river. I don't know if she stopped there, man, so, man, that's crazy. Uh, oh. We saw a little, uh, three by three buck this morning, trying to chase some does around. I don't think any of them let him catch them, but, yeah, it was kind of cool. So cool, cool. I've got well, my make... backseat helpers today with me. There you go. They'll help you drag they've it back, been, huh? <laughs> they've never. Well, yeah, exactly. They've never been hunting before. So uh, oh, excellent. First time they've All ever right. seen deer out playing around. Fun, fun. Oh, it's, cool. it's awesome. Um, you got your Browning with you? The two seventies? No. Your... Oh, nope that that's staying home this year. I've got ah. my Ruger American with me. Nice. And that's uh, is it odd six? I can't remember. Two seventy. Mine's a two seventy. There is a. There's one in, in here, too, that's uh, one of the boys is shooting an American in OT-6, and then the other one's shooting my Remington 788 and 243. So what do you think about the Ruger American Bolts? Because mine was pretty was pretty rough, and I, but I got one of the early production 762 by 39s. I mean, now it's smooth, like it. but you know, 300 rounds later, it's not janky or finicky. I think it's because of the Mini 30 mags that I was using with mine. That spring okay. puts a lot of pressure on the follower, and I think it just makes it kind of – it's not it's not a smooth reload. Because I noticed – the five round mag that comes with it is much easier to to chamber or to you know cycle, but the twenty okay. round mag and the ten round mag is just kind of a bear. It's not a smooth move, so yeah. No, the uh, I don't have a problem with it, but then you know mine's got just the normal, the normal polymer mag. magazine. Polymer mag, yeah, yeah. So does your, does your thing guys I, sound oh, like a ahead. zipper when you're opening you know, when you're working the bolt? Because I know I've got the one of the early Americans in two two three, and it sounds you know until. After about a thousand rounds, then it smooths out. But the first, yeah, well, ours were pretty rough, pretty rough machine, like swirly marks inside of it. Probably should have sent it back and said, "Refinish this, please," because it was, you know, mine's fine now, but it's taken probably five, six hundred rounds to get it to 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 get there. But that's it's in seven sixty two by thirty nine, so you can shoot it all day. But yeah, I, I don't have a problem with mine. I mean, for the, especially for the price of the rifle, and I didn't inspect it too close for tool marks. But as far as as cycling, it it's almost as smooth as my browning is would you would you end up with it. It? how much was it uh it was a scoped combo so it was on sale i think for 500 okay okay but yeah, we'll have um, to see prices are looking the, like the this did you issue, with, the vor- with the vortex with the vortex scope or is that what your package is it, it did but it's got my good vortex on it now okay um but it came with a, a crossfire too i think is what came on it but I don't, I don't have that on anything right now. I'm not using it. But um, the biggest issue I've had with, uh, with the Ruger American is feeding issues sometimes. Some of those rounds want to nosedive coming off the magazine. Hmm. And uh, so I, I did a little research on that, and people said, you know, some of the magazines are fine. Others, um, it's common. I mean, it's not uncommon in that Ruger American. And so you just have to... Uh, Push uh, out the spray a little bit or not? No, you got to take, take a knife or or a file or something and just open up the feet lips a little bit, just trim them back just a tad. So I, I trimmed a little bit of uh, plastic off and I shot four shots through it yesterday just to make sure that everything was good. 
and uh, I didn't have a problem with any of them feeding yesterday. So uh, hopefully everything's good, and I won't it won't jam up on me because sometimes they want to nosedive, and and then instead of hitting the feed ramp, they'll just stick right into the edge of it. So right in right below the right below the uh, chamber there, and then, yeah, that's not good, especially if you've got you know with a, like a uh, plastic tip bullet and it bends Ball that all out. Yeah, with the Americans, I mean, they're, uh, what, $400, $450, depending on, at least for California price, uh, yeah. synthetic stock rifle. I mean, they're a good, you know, field gun. They're not pretty. You're not going to worry about getting them scratched up, but they're not going to have the same quality as your Browning X-Bolts. You know, that's, uh, that's why I bought this one, because the X-Bolt, I mean, most of you have heard the story. It's It's a safe queen. And so I I bought this one so that I'm not afraid to take it out, and if it gets scratched up, oh well. Yeah, yeah exactly. So. And that's why I ha- that's where my grandfather's seven mag is a safe queen because it's you know a uh, you know wood stock and everything. Same. That's why my hunting rifles are all synthetics because you know if they get a little banged up, you don't feel so bad as long as they still shoot true. Mm-hmm. That and and humidity and rain and everything else don't seem to uh, affect the synthetic at all or versus wood, you know, that can affect your accuracy if it's, if it's swelled enough. So uh, while you're with us here, Sandy, I know those Savage Axis rifles are probably going to be going on sale. We were seeing them in the Cabela's ad. Yes. Okay. No. What's your take on the Axis? What'd you think? Um, I'm not a big fan and I've never shot one. I've just played with them in the stores, but yeah, just playing with different rifles and, and cycling the bolts. And, you know, these are, these are display rifles just out of the box. They haven't been cleaned up or anything, you know, and, and, mm-hmm. and maybe they've got a little bit of grease left on them from the factory, but other than that, they haven't been oiled. So I always keep that in mind as I'm messing with the rifle in the store, mm-hmm. but um, I've never liked the feel of the bolt in, in the first axis. The axis two axis seems two? like it's a, a lot better. Okay. Um, but then I don't like the Mossberg Patriot. And a lot of people do. And and I do like the Ruger American, the way that it feels. And, and I like the way that the Savage 110 feels. You know, so, I mean, it's just. Everybody kind of has their preferences. Yeah. You know, like me on the yeah, Ruger but, American, like but, I said, I mine was just not easy to cycle, but I shot it because it was cheap to shoot. It was a good round. It's fun to and, shoot. And it feeds steel case, you know. For the money, I don't think it matters if it's one of the Axis rifles or a a Mossberg Patriot, a Ruger American, anything like that. I, I don't think a guy can go wrong. Just find the one that's got the, the trigger that you like. I think I'm learning now that I'm a trigger snob now that I've shot that Browning. And so um, if there's any kind of creep or, or uh, um, take up in that trigger before it breaks, then I've learned now I don't like that in a hunting rifle. I just want no take up. I just want it to, to break clean and that's it. Your, your American has an adjustable trigger, right? It does. I haven't adjusted it yet. And yeah, I they're a I little bit on the heavy side, probably like a four pound pull or something, like maybe three and a half pound pull. But I think you have an adjustability up to like one pound either way. So yeah. it's I noticed mine. It just tend to move the gun a little bit when even when you have it mounted on a sled, it still will kind of pull back a little bit as you pull the trigger. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah, man. I haven't. Uh, uh, my wife has an you know axis, you know axis two and three hundred eight. And I definitely agree that the bolts on them aren't quite as, you know, nice as even my Savage 11. Uh, mm-hmm. Given their price point and what they're designed for, because they're not by any means a, you know, thousand yard cloverleaf, you know, rifle. They are, you know, a 400 yard hunting rifle. You know, every feature on them, they are, that's about what they're designed for. I'd say they're, good for what they are but yeah they're definitely they don't have as good of a trigger their bolts aren't as you know refined oh, yeah. so that's yeah. your uh it's part of why i didn't get myself an access when i first when i got my 308 but uh i and that's where we got her the access because it works well for a starter rifle it was a good budget you know option came with an optic on it for her and got her going on a uh, center fire I, that I wouldn't call a large bore, but it, you know, a big enough bore to be an effective hunting rifle. And it gave her something she could learn on, and then we can upgrade her down the road when she figures out more what she wants. Yeah, that's kind a nice thing favorite. about it. Yeah, 
Is this the uh, beautiful? You gonna take us through the beautiful Nebraska prairie now, Sand Hills? <laughs> oh yeah. What are you driving there? Are you driving the Tahoe? Uh, no. Did you pick up a different vehicle? Nope, I don't have the Tahoe anymore. Oh, did you trade it? I traded it off. I'm in a Expedition EL now. There you go. There you go. Going across the prairie in a Ford. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's still white. Yeah, looks about like looks about like the Tahoe. No rust this time. A little more, a little more carry room than the uh, Tahoe, or not? Definitely more cargo room than the. The Tahoe. Know, if the Tahoe you're driving a Ford a... out there, you have What's someone that? to call to come get you when it breaks. You know, if you're driving a Ford, you have someone to call to come get you when it breaks down, right? Oh yeah, Dad will show up with a Ford to save us. Travis knows how to get here, so I figure I'm just going to call Travis. Yeah, my little Hyundai. Oh, I mean, I got an all-wheel drive with about seven inches of ground clearance, but I don't think I'm going to be able to make it like I did my Jeep last year. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's years okay. There, there's no snow, so it's fine. You can yeah, get there out you here go. I've actually out. I've barely driven the the Kona in 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 adverse conditions. I'm going to pick up a pickup here at some point. i uh, just going to get an older one to use as a hunting rig, as a range vehicle, and that's pretty much it. So probably go with the Silverado. I do like F-150s from the '80s, like kind of before they went to the newer aero style. Um, see, I'll be, I'll be in the market for something. You should have let me know about the Tahoe, man. I might've bought it, bought it off you instead of trading it in. I know it's easier just to trade it, but, um, or maybe go with the Suburban. I haven't decided yet. Something, something older I can use kind of as a beater. You, you didn't want my Tahoe. The reason that I traded it when I did is because it was time to get rid of it rather than stick some more money into it. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't blame you. There's always you little things that they need, So yeah, cool, man. Well, uh, guys, do you have any other good offers to announce? I kind of wanted to just stick with the idea of talking about Black Friday deals. Sandhills, have you seen any good pre-Black Friday specials or any good prices at all on firearms? Not really, but I haven't really been looking either since I got my American rifle. I yeah. haven't, uh, I haven't been watching. I'm not, I'm not planning on doing any Black Friday shopping. Yeah, I'm not really seeing, not, for- not really seeing a whole lot. Just in general, it's you know from what I've seen from the ads, whether they were the 2019 or the 2020s, but just, you know, we're just going to kind of keep our eyes peeled. We're going to get more ads coming out probably next week or the week after, but at least it kind of gives us an idea if it's even worth going out this year, you know? Well, one, I was, I was having some connectivity issues earlier when you're showing the the first round of it. It wasn't a gun, but they have those, uh, Amazon has those plain all weather AR cases on sale for $69 right now. Oh, that's yeah. That's a pretty, aren't they normally $99? I was was trying to get you, but I was having, I was having internet issues here. I didn't bother checking on Amazon because usually you can get some decent deals on cases, especially, you know. Yeah, the well, it was for... on your gun dot deals screen you were showing. Oh, okay, okay. I got you the Black um, Friday. I saw it, but yeah, I was trying to let you know. I guess the last thing we can do real quick is just check a little Palmetto State Armory and see if they got anything going on this morning. Uh, let me just do a screen share here one last time. You guys see what they got today because, you know, they do just sell regular ammo. Let's see what they've got for the daily deals and see if it is really a daily deal. So we got. Oh, their phosphate, four forty nine. Really, guys? Come on, this was what about a two hundred and fifty dollar upper a year ago? Man, that hurts. That hurts. Uh, Hellcat for five ninety nine. That's pretty much par for the course, I think, for price. The Geisley trigger pack deal with some magical furniture. Uh, let's see, seven D and H thirty round five five six mags with a deluxe case for one thirty nine. Keep an eye on those guys with triggers. Those might go down in price as we get closer to Black Friday. Uh, standard carbine for six ninety nine. dollars Phosphate carbine. Stay away from the Croatian mags. They're very, very finicky in a lot of different AKs. Don't buy those. I mean, they might work in yours great. I have not. I tried them in two or three different AKs and could not get them to run. D mags, twelve thirty. Oof. Ouch. Well, that's what we can do right now. Hmm, what else we got? We've got a Glock 43 with Battle Worn Burnt Bronze finish for $5.99. That XDS we talked about earlier. Get those Carcanos for $249. That might be the best deal out there. You can get that PPU ammunition for it. That's you know no, you can't. You can't. Is it totally sold out everywhere? Yeah, it's been sold out. That's just I, it. People people I go, I'm gonna get this, uh, I'm gonna get this, and then they can't find ammo. Mm. You know, even spare parts for them are drying up. Because people are getting some of these and they're having to fix them. And you go to some of the sites and it's trying the uh, end block clips were out of stock there for a while. Now they've started coming back into stock. So at least that's there. But now I believe you're right. Nothing found on Amazon. If you want to reload Carcano, 
good luck. None of the dies are av- well. Very few of the dies are available right now. Yeah, because I bought I bought two boxes from SG Ammo, but it was probably three or four months ago when I bought it. I got two boxes of PPU because I do have one to test on the channel that another YouTuber loaned me to, to test out. So I did get a couple boxes of ammo, but it, it's a sporter model too. It's been sporterized versus what you see here. It doesn't have the bayonet on it and stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll see good deals on some of this stuff, especially the Millsurps. Mm-hmm. And it, like they'll buy a Mauser and they go, "Oh man!" And then they find out the cheapest box of Mauser ammo uh, around might be twenty five bucks a box, and they're going, "Dang, you know, this ain't no two two three. That's not to say that you can't find ammo for a Mauser for fourteen dollars a box, but when all of that's dried up because everybody's buying it." then you got to buy the hunting ammo or what mm-hmm. have you. So, yeah, yeah. And then if you had say, well, if you got into reloading, Mauser ammo wouldn't be expensive or Carcano ammo wouldn't be expensive or, or 303 British wouldn't be expensive. They don't want to get into reloading or they go, well, how much is it going to cost me to get into reloading? And then that's the, so that's a whole other video right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's like, don't make that video. It's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Well, it's like getting uh, one of the Coker Rev pistols and finding out it's $25 a box. You know, it's funny though. Locally, I can get a uh, nine millimeter macro for $12.99 a box or $11.99 a box. So I've been buying that up at my, at one of the local gun stores here. And every time I go to check out, they're like, you realize this is macro, right? Cause they want to make sure I know it's not what nine by 19 Luger. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I know I've got a Mac Rob to shoot it through. So I've been slowly yeah. accumulating nine by 18 Mac Rob. I figure, well, if I ever sell the Mac, I've got a lot of ammo to go with it. Um, this, this is why it's a good idea to have a variety mm-hmm. of calibers, a variety of guns. I'll so tell I got, you, it. I got an go email from one of the places I shop online from, and they've got seven, six, two by 54 rimmed available and they've got 303 british available and they've got eight millimeter mauser available now you might go well didn't you just say that's expensive yes but it's available so if you have that mosin or you have that infield or you have that mauser and right now you can't afford to feed your ar-15 you could always take that or i should say afford <laughs> you can't find two two three five five six or you've only got a small stash of it and you're holding on to it but you're you're itching to go to the range you know, pick up a couple boxes for that Mauser and pay the pay the premium and run it out. So it's it's one way or the other. You either buy it and then you find out how much it costs to run the thing, or the fact that you have it means at least you've got something you can go shoot because you can find ammo for it, like that Makarov. Mm-hmm, exactly. By the way, here's the uh, the Elite SC that I bought, but I paid three ninety nine at Shields. Um, this four forty nine is not bad. It's still under MSRP great gun you get uh, two magazines with it you get the what was it a 17 rounder and a 12 rounder if i'm not mistaken uh this is a fun one to shoot this is a great little shooter and it's got the rmr cut up on the top you got your optics cut with it you got the blacked out rear sight you've got the hard case that comes with it comes with a uh, injection molded holster that at least get you by i do have an inside the waistband holster coming for this one it's just taking a few weeks to get here that i ordered from a small shop off of ebay uh, located here in the u.s uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of new stuff out there, but uh, here's what we got. Some G43Xs are on sale for $579. Here's your tactical for $899, your FN509 full-size tactical for $899, which I love those, but just not that price. Uh, TP9S, this is a good one, the SFX uh, for $549. That's a fun pistol to shoot. That's, what, 17 or 18 plus one, I think. I believe the but. SFX is 20 for the magazine. Is it a 20? It is a 20 rounder. Oh, we yeah, got the Honda like in the house. What's going on, man? How do you do good, sir? Yeah, all right. Well, we're just seeing if there's any good deals. We're going to be um, dropping off here pretty soon. Yeah. Two 20 round mags. Like you said, get the whole package deal with it. Um, Honda, have you seen any good deals now? Okay. So we've got every part of the U S covered so far in gun deals, except for the mountainous region. So have you seen any good deals at all locally in your neck of the woods? I just went to the gun shop yesterday looking for not a gun but for ammo and the deals on guns are abysmal and ammo for sale is non-existent in calibers that i own so i was thinking about actually getting a uh getting something in 40 because there is 40 on the shelf yeah out here now luckily shields out here has do you guys have shields in the denver area no Okay, Shields has an exclusive deal with um, Fioki, so they make a line of 9mm 115-grain target ammo that's $14.99 a box. But Shields has, has consistently had 10 millimeter, 45 ACP, and then like 32 ACP in stock all the time. So 10 millimeter is another one to consider, too. You can get some fairly inexpensive 10 millimeter handguns, 
and sometimes you can find them used, you know, or go to the gun shows and pick them up. Um, and then also 45 ACP. I mean, they got tons of 45 ACP, or at least they did the last time the defense dad and I were over at Shields. So, I mean, consider and 45s, you can still get a nice 1911 for under 500 bucks. You know, you've got yours. Can you get the 45 ACP at your gun store or not? Nope. Okay, because here they've got like a whole shelf of it, man, you know, 200 round boxes or whatever. Um, so you can get it. So, I mean, consider, yeah, again, here's the deal, guys. If you can't find it in your caliber, just go see what they got a, a plethora of and just go buy a gun in that caliber. And I'm noticing even 22 LR sold out everywhere again. We're running into that crap this time, too. So seems yeah, I mean, like the uh, FN57 and the 17 HMR, WMR stuff is readily available. But, yeah. I mean, I've got yeah, two, you, you may have to buy a small hand cannon that's, you know, like 454 Casul or something, one of those big revolvers. 44 Mag. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, even 44 Mag is not an uncommon caliber. Mm-hmm. True, even that might be sold out in some places. So you, I'm gonna you find know. out. I'm gonna try to pick up another box of ammo for this today. I've only got one box for my range test, and I was gonna maybe try to get <laughs> something if I can. We'll see what they have in stock. No, so. that's right. I gotta go out, you know, uh, later this afternoon, too. So I'm probably gonna swing by a gun shop while I'm out, just for actually a sports warehouse, just for kicks. But uh, yeah, I mean, last time I was in there, that's where you were only stuff you were gonna find was the stuff that 90% of gun owners have never heard of. So you might have to go that direction if you're wanting a oddball that you can find right now. Get a Makarov. <laughs> I'm telling you, I mean, if you get yourself a nice Bulgarian Makarov in very good, excellent condition, ammo is cheap for it. At least it is out here, eleven ninety nine a box for 50 You know, if you want my something to cheap, I love mine. What's that? Is I don't, you know, my issue with a Makarov is I don't need foos you know, stealing it up underneath me. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem that you run into. And I'll tell you, the Makarov prices are going up too. So if you can get one under four hundred, like three seventy nine, that's kind of what I'm seeing for the going price. Whenever these Bulgarian Max will pop up online, I've got the Russian Baikal model that was produced in the nineties, and so mine's not an authentic Milster one, but I've got it hopped up a little bit. I put a different grip on it. Um, Apex Gun Parts does make new manufacturer mags for it, which is nice. They make nice stainless steel mags for it that are like twenty bucks. Um, with new springs, I mean, everything, it's new manufacturer. Um, and I did put a single piece rear side on mine because it has the adjustable rear side, which is really, was kind of janky. It wouldn't hold zero. So I just replaced it with a one piece rear side, which is great now. Um, the only thing I don't like is it's got a tiny little front, front blade side. So I need to put some kind of paint or something on the back of it to make it stand out. So, hey, uh, Hank Strange, why don't you go ahead and give us a channel plug real quick? We're going to be calling it here in just a couple minutes. Oh, wow. Was that um, that late? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Yeah, we started at eight, uh, well, seven your time. So. Well, it's 8.23, so you've only been yeah. going for 23 minutes. <laughs> yeah, an hour and 23 minutes. Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, you got a little, you got a couple shows that you do. When, when can somebody find you online to check out your channel, Hank? I mean, if you specifically Google E space Honda 720, you will find me. I do okay. uh, Late Night with Honda on Saturday nights where we just kind of drink and have fun and talk about whatever. And then I do a conspiracy chat every Saturday called the Gay Frog Chat. Or every Sunday, excuse me. There I just woke up. So you just you go by everybody knows you as Hank Strange, but the channel that everybody really needs to go to is E Honda Seven Twenty, right? Well, I set my name as Hank Strange on yeah. GunTube one time as a joke, and I forgot to do anything about it to change it back. So, so every time you jump in here, it's still you know, correct. Yeah, yeah it's Hank Strange. So yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, Sandhills is getting ready to go out into the field. He's going to do some harvesting. <laughs> there we go. He's back at the ranch, man. There you are. Back at the lodge. Can can you see the puppies? Used to be, no, it's a little small. It's a little small. Might be able to. Maybe I can just focus on you here. There we go. I, I Where's the corgis at? Where's the corgis at? Um, they were. There's a couple. Oh, there's, there's one, one running right. around out there. I see one running around out there right the, now. There's one at the bottom of the tree right there. That's a little bit grainy. The it might catch up with it and sharpen up a little bit. Oh, well, there they are. Yeah, those are the Aussies, aren't they? Um, border collies. You know, no, well, there's, I don't know what all you can see because it's still little on mine. But um, one of the Welsh corgis is out in the in the uh, runaround pen there. But I don't know if I can get it to. Oh, it's. <laughs> he's clear over there in the corner now. So if somebody wants but, to buy a corgi from a licensed breeder, who do they go to? Sandhills. They go to VJ's Puppies, but I don't even think there's a website. I just over on Facebook. Cool, man. 
All right. Um, guys, I think we're probably going to go ahead and call it. Like I said, I just wanted to talk about some deals and see what's out there. And like I said, hopefully that Sportsman's Guide ad is legit. If it isn't the legit ad, the new one will be posting soon so we can make a price comparison. But again, you know, we tried what we tried. We did what we could and try to find you some good deals for today. But, um, you know, sometimes it's a hit or miss Tuesday nights at uh, nine o'clock. So I think we'll go ahead and call it. So uh, Hank Strange, why don't you go ahead and give us a plug for your channel? I, I thought I did already. The Honda 720. Make sure you check it out. Get over there. Go subscribe. <laughs> I'm giving you one last chance. I want to make sure do the round table stuff. I just woke up. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> See, we don't we don't skip you and talk over you like other podcasts do. We let you say your piece. So I'm, you know. I'm realizing this. It's, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Exactly. Right on. Right on. All right. Uh, Defense Dad, anything you want to say before we go? Oh, thanks for having me. And yeah. hot dogs are not sandwiches. You son of a... Don't even start there. I've already told you that Webster's defines a sandwich as a bread or <laughs> bun with a meat filling. Now, if you don't consider a hot dog a meat filling, I don't know what to say. So this is something that you and I as Nebraskans philosophically will not agree on. So a hot dog is a sandwich. A hot dog sandwich is a sandwich. A I think that's perfect in the video. Is a sandwich. A Pop-Tart is actually a pie. Let's start that one instead. Let's get that new one going. Is a Pop-Tart actually a slice of pie? That's one to think about. Let's let's get away from the hot dog debate. We're never going to settle it. We're never going to settle it. Let's just go, is a Pop-Tart a slice of pie? And yes, a hot dog is, in fact, a sandwich. All right, so Defense Dad, what's your channel? Where should people go if they want to check out your content? Um, just on YouTube so far, it's Defense Dad. Check it out and check everybody else's channels out, too. Sounds good. All right. Single shot. Anything you want to say before we go? Hey, buddy. Uh, well, no, not a whole lot. I'm still working dil diligently at uh, sharpening these knives. I've got one done. I cool, use man. a Lansky knife sharpening system. And for some reason, on my bench here, it has disappeared. So <laughs> I've got to uh, see if I can locate that. But it's going fairly good. I still got the holder, so I get the angles right. Uh, just check out the shot, the uh, single shot channel. You get a chance. Uh, I should have some new content uh, fairly soon. I hope. I've got a lot of stuff going on right now. I got to take off tomorrow afternoon, headed to uh, Tennessee. There you go. There you go. A little Rocky Top, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice, nice. All right. Well, you be safe, brother. You take it easy, and thank you for thank you for the work you do hauling everybody's freight all over the place. People don't don't appreciate it, but uh, you know they get mad when it's not in stock. But then they don't move over when you need it. they don't move over when you need to pass so you can get the stuff there on time. You know, or they'll cut me off getting off the next exit. That scares mm -hmm. the crap out of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Folks, take care. Remember, America moves by truck. There you go. Right on. Excellent. All right, Calaveras 32 special. Um, you can go back to bed now, so anything you want to say before we go? No, I just appreciate the invite. And, yeah, uh, yeah everyone here on the channel produces great you – know, everyone on the chat produces great content. Go check them out. Uh, that's where some of us are also – you know, we're all on YouTube. You know, when most of us are playing around on Facebook, Instagram, and a few of us have started, you know, dabbling with, you know, some alternative platforms just to see how they go, you know, including Parler, MeWe, and heck, I did, you know, create a Rumble account just to see what it is. And uh, just trying to get, you know, the good word out there and appreciate the invite, Travis. Thank you. No problem. And you mentioned MeWe, and MeWe is one of those awesome platforms. If you haven't seen MeWe, it's basically an alternative Facebook. Um, all of us that got booted off of Facebook that were in gun groups, we just went over to MeWe. All of our private sale gun groups, you know, legally private sales, we all went over to MeWe. So go to MeWe and just type in your state, and I guarantee the majority of the sites that pop up are going to be gun-related. Go join those groups because a lot of them were people that were all together over on Facebook before we got booted off. So MeWe, as long as you're not breaking state law or federal law, MeWe doesn't care what you do. They don't care what you say. You can negotiate prices on firearms in your group if you want to. You can post pics, videos. MeWe's actually... If there's groups there that you don't like, you don't join them. I mean, it's that simple. MeWe is good. The only bad thing is that the app is a little bit bulky on the phone. It's kind of bloated. It does take up a lot of room. Um, but the website is fine, and it's growing. It's free. That's another cool thing about it. Of course, they offer a premium version. But for now, you know, if you join your groups and chat and, and communicate, I've sold many firearms through MeWe. So go and check it out. It's definitely a good one. It's uh, MeWe.com. And unlike a lot of places... They claim that they don't save, they don't sell their user data. That was the whole idea behind it is they don't care. They don't, they don't track your metrics. 
they make their money off their premiums and they make their money off their 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 like um, enterprise packages that they sell to businesses. They don't. I don't even think they advertise at all. So that's that's a cool thing about MeWe. It's a it's a nice alternative to Facebook. So. All right. And last but not least, we got the squib load. Squibby, any final words of wisdom before we call it? No, not really. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you being here. If you see any good deals, make sure you let me know. I can go post it over on YouTube. And as soon as we get more ads that pop up, I'll, again, I'll check the dates, make sure they're legit for 2020. And so, yeah, be careful when you guys look at the Black Friday ads because you think you're clicking on a 2020 ad and you're not. It could be a 2019, although generally they do say, you know. But anyway. Cool. All right. So joining us over on the YouTube side, we had a heck of a crowd today, man. A lot of people watching. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we gave you some good deals. If not, gave you some good ideas on how to save some money. Uh, poor conservative says, will Nebraska ever get a winning season again? LMFAO. No, because guys like me and defense dad used our four years of eligibility. So probably not. Uh, Tacos and French fries says great show as usual. Patriot in the dark says, uh, make it an outstanding day. All right. You know, we will. Also joining us, we got a little Travis T. We got some Matt Starr out there. A little bit of Night Shaft in the house. We got some Weston Probst out there. Poor conservative. Calvaris 32 special. Pulling double duty over there and over here. Mike's out there. Mario Mosen in the house. Keith Gregory. Uh, M. Gabriel's out there, too. One of the first people to check in this morning, M. Gabriel. All right. He's uh, he's part of the early morning qu- uh, coffee squad. Calvaris 32 special. Let's see. G23's in the house. G23, appreciate you stopping by, buddy. Thank you so much. Guns and Barbecue. John Lowell's out there. Uplift Mofo Party Plan. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Making Dover's out there, too. He says, read the bottom. That is last year. Okay, well, like I said, they had the ad posted. They advertised it as a 2020 ad. I had no idea. And if we go to check the websites, the prices wouldn't have been updated anyway. Uh, let's see. Chris Chris New is out there, too. Uh, Squib Load out there. A lot of people watching 38 super partisan kingpins out there promoting all the great gun channels keyword john c melvin nut vandalistic of vlogs is joining us ipac nine millimeter in the house Ooh, dm me the cleanse oil codes on instagram thank you thank you i'm gonna pick up some more cleanse oil that is quickly becoming my uh clp of choice basically for my firearms iron horseman in the house joey joe's out there john lowell lead life who's that everybody uh michael hernandez watching too and Billy the Cab Driver, and then somebody who just goes by W. All right, Keith Gregory. Okay, guys, so that's it. This has been Caliber Corner episode number 162, discussing are there any good gun deals out there? If you watch this episode, whether those ads were legit or not, we still gave you lots of great ideas for great prices. Don't forget, support your local gun stores. Negotiate with cash when you can. Hit the local gun shows if possible, and uh, let us know if you find any great deals. Chime in on this episode down in the comment box. If you guys found any great deals, let us know, and we'll definitely get the word out and let people know about it. So in the meantime, guys, uh, shout out to SS Pond for supporting.